Thanks so much, Greg. Adam, we talked about it before the start of this series. You're so familiar with the Braves, considering that they are your former team. How much did that help you game plan for Max Freed today? Uh, you know, I mean, I've played behind him for the last couple of years, and I know how tough of a pitcher he is, man. And he, uh, you know, he's got four pitches that, that are good. And, you know, you just try to go to a spot, and, you know, hopefully he misses there. Your home run in the fourth inning, you crushed it. We actually renamed Auto Nation Alley Adams. Oh. Auto Nation Alley. <laughs> What's going through your head as you're rounding the bases knowing, oh, yeah, I got that one? Uh, you know, it was it was an 0-2 pitch, so I was kind of thankful that he threw it there because, uh, you know, he kind of had me on the ropes there. But, um, you know, the bat's not over until it's over. Uh, you know, that's why you get three strikes. So, um, you know, I'm just glad I was able to uh, contribute today and, uh, you know, hit something hard. Speaking of the long ball, you know how special it is to hit your first career home run. Luis Diaz, pinch hit, yeah. home run, his first yeah. career home run. How happy were you for him? That's awesome. Uh, you know, just because coming off the bench is not easy. Uh, <laughs> you know, hitting's not easy, period, but coming off the bench is even harder. Uh, you know, so, I mean, that's awesome for him, man. He put a beautiful swing on that thing, and, and uh, you know, he's got some juice, so uh, that'll be fun to see. Yeah, Sandy Alcantara said the dugout called it. So good to see that from Lewin, and good to yeah. see that from the team today. Thanks so much for the time, Adam. Yeah, Congratulations thanks, thanks on for the having win. Me. Yeah, just Zach Thompson, what he was able to do against a really good Braves lineup, uh, picking up his first big league win. What did you think of his performance today? No, good today. Um, I thought he worked really well with Sandy. I thought Sandy did a nice job of mixing with him. Uh, started to land a few more breaking balls. I think that's kind of key for him because he can elevate the fastball pretty good. Got a little, little cutter he has. Um, seemed like he got that to both sides of the plate. Um, you know, got it, got it away from like Freddie early. Um, was able to get, looked like he got some big outs. He got a big out on Contreras with that, with the, with I think three in a row possibly. Um, but I thought they did a, a nice job of mixing and, and, and him being able to start landing his breaking ball later always going to help him. Jordan. Yeah, hey, they're going to continue with Zach. Uh, his first two starts, the Red Sox and the Braves, two really potent lineups. And to see him with the composure and with that with that strong out, the, both the strong out, just what does it say about him being able to hold his own like that in his first two starts against those teams? Yeah, I mean, I think we, we've seen it in spring. His stuff is good. You know, and again, he gets he was you know a little excited at times in spring and just kind of gets amped up. And I know... He, Mel has, you know, looked into him and talked about him in spring about how, you know, how his pitches work, which ones just grade out better and how he needs to be using them. Sometimes guys don't even know that, how, which pitch is like their best pitch. And, uh, and it seems like he's gaining a little confidence as we're going. So, you know, we'll see where it goes. Uh, but it's awfully nice for us to be able to get an outing out of that one of those slots that's not the kind of the big three. And then Lewin Diaz, his first home run, gives you guys a big run there in the big spot. Just seeing that from him and seeing him making the most of the few chances he is getting now that he's up with you guys. Yeah, obviously big for him, and it was a big run for us. Obviously, then Freddie hits the two run late, uh, but we still had that one run lead. Uh, so I thought Lewin's you know, homer was big, just kind of like tacking on another run. Because with these guys, you know they're going to keep coming uh, at some point. When they break out, they usually break out big. So, uh, you know, every run you can get, you feel better about. Daniel Alvarez. Thank you, Jason. Don, uh, this homestand has been great for you just with one loss and then also beating the, the Braves at home in, in a series. Maybe it's something that has to feel good. So what can you say about the momentum of the team so far? Well, it's kind of what we needed, right? We you know, after that last trip, to be able to come home and play well is important for us uh, to get some momentum. So, um, again, we got it. Hopefully we're able to, to close these guys out tomorrow. Uh, we really can't afford to, to stop. And, and, again, I think the, we have gained some momentum. I think, you know, just the quality of at-bats and then just the tempo with, with, with which we're playing uh, is the style we want to play. Go back to Jess.
Hey, Donnie, yeah, you mentioned it, just the importance of being able to tack on against this team. Uh, to see the Jesus Aguilar at that late go from a check swing into an RBI single, and just how critical at that point was it to get that extra run in the eighth inning? No, it's the, another one of those that just feels good that you get the extra one. They get two, and you don't want to leave momentum there. Um, but to be able to get that, you know, Star obviously gets is able to hit that kind of little – Thing he hit to, towards first and beat him, steal a bag, uh, put us in a good spot for that. And then Aggie obviously has been driving in runs all kinds of different ways, and that may be the first. Uh, obviously, I think that's the first with a check swing this year, though. So uh, that was a big run for us. Jordan, you had another one? Yeah, one more. Donnie, the defense, you got a couple big plays from Eason, the double play from Starling, to, and I think that was the third inning. Just seeing those couple big plays that were able to keep keep the Braves in check, especially early on. Yeah, and it keeps our it keeps our uh, pitch count down for Zach to get those that quick out with Aggie at first there. Uh, Eason, the play there. Was that the ninth or the eighth? I mean, I get it. I think it's the ninth, right? To start that inning, uh, you know, great play. That's how those things get started if you don't make that play. So, uh, yeah, anytime we could limit, you know, we kind of give them a, a chance early, and, and we were able to get out of it with the, you know, the, the play at second base. Um, but yeah, the the plays you make that you know save pitches and save innings uh, end up being huge for you. Ethan. Thanks, Jason. Don, how crucial was that fifth inning when Zach goes back out there? It's his last inning. And, you know, Acuna, that was the first, the only guy he saw three times. So to go out and strike out a guy like Acuna and get out of that spot and get through five scoreless, just how big was that for you guys? I felt like it was big So because that was his last hitter. He wasn't going to get Freddie. We didn't have to use a guy there, which I was, I was happy about. Uh, so, you know, and, and to be able to give him a chance to get a win. I wasn't going to let him see Freddie uh, with a guy on base and in a two-run game. And But you hate to take a kid out who hasn't got a win and would you know, obviously wouldn't be been eligible for the win at that point. But for him to get that out, at least give him a chance if we could hold on and, and add some runs to be able to get him a win. So it was, I was glad he got that out. Daniel Rodriguez. Thanks, Jason. Hey, Donnie. Adam Duvall have just been one of those hot streaks as, as of late, hitting three home runs in the last four games. Just how do you see Duvall in the last couple games, and including today's big home run? Well, obviously good. Um, you know, when, when you're on that last trip, it seemed like he's lost and, I, and was lost there for a little bit and just seemed like at bat after at bat looked the same. Um I always feel like as a hitter, you know, you see a guy starting to get his feel, and there's a couple at bats in Pittsburgh that he started like you've seen the like the swing and the takes um, were getting better, and all of a sudden he caught fire there. I thought he caught fire in Boston a little bit, uh, and he's really been able to ride that. And when he gets hot, this is what it looks like. You know, we see a guy that's you know not a big average, but a guy that does damage. You know, he's got over 40 ribbies now. Over I think he's got 12 homers, you know, and they come quick. And so when he gets hot, it really, it kind of helps us push games to different levels. All right, and we'll go back to Jess to close out. Thanks, Jason. Uh, hey, Johnny, just wanted to ask you about Pablo going tomorrow, just in case we don't get a chance to catch up in the morning. Uh, he's coming off of a career-high eight innings against the Rockies. What did you like about Pablo's last start that you want to see carry over into tomorrow? Thank you. Yeah, obviously, just just being on the attack and being aggressive. He had he had he had his curveball working. You know, his curveballs have kind of been a work in progress. It keeps getting better. Um, you know, using both fastballs, using his changeup, uh, the cutter some. So he had it all going. That was probably one of his better starts. Uh, you know, uh, for us I mean, as a Marlin. So I don't know about it before that, but that was one of his better starts just from the the pitch mix and what he was able to do. And hopefully that momentum carries forward for him, right? And, you know, guys get on a roll, and hopefully he's, you know, he's, he's feeling that tomorrow. What did it mean to be able to shut down the lineup like the Braves for five innings? <laughs> um, well, I mean, my four scene was being located pretty well. Um, my cutter was great today. Uh, and then towards the end, my curveball 
kind of took over. And that's what, you know, when I have three pitches going, I mean, that was really good for me. Uh, to be able to shut out the Braves is, you know, amazing. It's, they're a really good lineup. Uh, and I know what this game meant to us. I also have a, a really good family friend, Cam Scoggert, that massive Braves fan. So it meant a lot to be able to shut them down and send them a text right away, just being like, how'd you like that? <laughs> And for you personally, your first start was against the Red Sox. Your second one's against the Braves. You hold your own in both of them. Where's your confidence level at after that? Uh, I mean, it's still high. I still have to stay uh, humble. You know, I know this is all big league guys, and uh, I'm just trying to go out and do my best every single day, no matter what my confidence level is. Uh, Jess. Thanks, Jason. Hey, Zach, congratulations on the win. Donnie was mentioning he felt like you worked really well today with Sandy Leon, uh, really mixed up your pitches. What was it like working with Sandy, and, and what did you think of the game that he called? Sandy did an amazing job. Um, I was able to work with him a little bit in spring training um, and a little bit at the alternate site, I think it was. Um, so I have a little bit of history with him, and so he kind of knew exactly what I was uh, what I can work with and, and how to call stuff when I'm not throwing certain pitches in certain locations. Um, and he did an amazing job of, of working back there and seeing what was working with me uh, during the inning, maybe before the inning, just in my warm up pitches of seeing how I'm kind of throwing stuff and how I was moving. Um, great job, like blocking stuff behind the plate and just being able to really support my stuff today. Uh, Daniel Alvarez. Thank you, Jason. Uh, Zach, congratulations. Uh, two parts. First, uh, take me to, through that at bat against the Cunha in the fifth, and how important it was to neutralize that guy because uh, having dominating him and, and Freeman is always a key to, to get a win against the Braves. I mean, Acuna is an amazing player, um, and that's being able to shut them down and shut him down in that last inning going into that kind of figure would maybe be my last, my last batter there, my last inning. Um, that was a, a really important factor for me. Um, and I think my emotion showed it. Uh, that was that was just a really cool event, a really good way to finish that. And secondly, uh, what felt sweeter? Uh, getting that hit in your first professional at bat or uh, giving no walks away? Uh, probably my first hit. <laughs> that was really cool. I swung up that, uh, I think, two days ago for the first time. And, Years, and then yeah. just to be able to make contact. <laughs> I told Swanson at second base, and I was like, "Man, I just swung and and hope I hit it, and I did." Mm. Bill Ladson filling in for Christina from Marlins.com. Um, could you tell me the your feelings of picking up your first career win, and uh, also um, in the second inning, you were able to get out of the inning. You had runners on first and second and uh, was able to get out of it. Uh, could you talk about both those things? Sure. Yeah, I mean, the first big league win is is amazing. I, di I didn't, you know, I just go out there and try to compete and try to get guys out and obviously put my team in the best situation that I possibly can moving forward. Um, so to get a win out of it, it's amazing. The first one, I mean, I don't know if it's really truly hit me yet. Um, I'm sure it will here shortly. Uh, and then in second inning, getting those guys out, um, I knew that, you know, this is probably gonna be a pretty low scoring game with Freed on the mound on their side, um, tough competition. And so I knew we just had to buckle down and get those guys out. And, uh, thankfully I was able to make some pitches and get some momentum going our way and we were able to shut them down. Thank you. Ethan. Thanks, Jason. Hey, Zach, I noticed on the Lewin Diaz home run, you were like the first guy right there and you had this big smile on your face and first major league career win. Just how much fun are you having and, and what's the experience been like for you so far? Honestly, I feel like a, a kid out there. I feel like I'm, you know, like eight years old again, just playing a game. Um, I think being able to stand in the box and hit and just have that like feeling of like being athletic again has really helped me just enjoy stuff and enjoy life. Um, and then I really wanted to hit in that at bat. But then when I saw Lewin hit a home run, I was like, oh, I'm really glad that that wasn't me because that was a really cool hit. Um, and I just, I mean, that was incredible. <laughs>